I come to you from Dallas, Texas today, but um, I am, and actually Fort Worth, I, it, you know, everybody thinks of Dallas, but technically I'm on the Fort Worth side of the Metroplex. But, uh, you know, Stefan and Nigel, and everybody, they wanted me to come on and just say hi, uh, greet the group, share with you my feelings and, and my why I'm here actually. Uh, you, you know, so, but at the, at the stage of life I'm in right now, man, what I want to do is make bigger impact and help more people, but also from a business standpoint, I want to do something fun and exciting in the financial services business. You know, it's kind of an old stale, stodgy business. You know, Aaron, it's, it's, it's not that fun. It's, it's you know, stale and stodgy. And, and, and so, uh, as we begin to look at this, uh, the connect in the crypto market and what uh, connect was doing, we decided the opportunity was just way too big to pass up. So what I did is when I talked to Wright here just earlier uh, last month about, you know, you know, what could happen here. And he asked me to come on and help. And, you know, what we did, we basically put our financial services business on autopilot. Okay. Uh, I mean, complete autopilot and we're, we're rocking and rolling. So let me just kind of show you what, um, what I see. I'm going to share my screen now. Let me see here. That, you know, they always talked about blockchain projects that we love. And and uh, as I was studying the industry, one of the things I knew, we talked about right place, right time. You know, th this is a little graph. It talks about the adoption of cryptocurrency versus the Internet. And uh, if you look at this, the adoption of cryptocurrency is far outpacing any technology that's ever been in the history of the world. Okay. Uh, here we are right here, obviously, in this graph is six, eight, 10 months old, but we are projected that when, when, when the crypto industry has a billion users, that's about when the internet had half a billion. So we're blown it away by leaps and bounds. You go back to that right place, right time thing. And then I, I've got a buddy, and, and I don't want this to be a political statement of any kind. It's not intended that way, but I've got a buddy. It's also in the financial services business. And I've been telling him about crypto. And he's been, if I've got one, Nigel, if I've got one link to an a anti-crypto article on my phone from this guy, I've got 50, okay? I mean, every day or two, he was sending me uh, an article about how everything wrong with crypto. And, um, and I was telling him the opposite side of that. And then one day he sends this to me and his wife says, you better go talk to Steve because what's going on, you know, the, the truckers up in Canada, I don't know if you guys knew about that big strike happening up there. I'm getting some nods. But what happened is they ended up, the government said, look, if you contributed to those truckers, they froze their assets. They froze their assets in the bank. And then this thing right here, the, the, the Russians, you know, the big countries out there were doing the same thing to the Russians, freezing their assets. And if you, if you look down at the bottom paragraph here, this says a few years ago, nobody imagined Banks would be weaponized against innocent, peaceful citizens. But now that governments have crossed the Rubicon, crypto is the only sensible place to store assets that require near liquidity. This article, now remember, this guy that sent me this, sent me this article three, four weeks ago. He sent me 50 anti-crypto articles. He said, Steve, we got to get together. Since he sent me that article, he's put a large, large six-figure number into crypto, and he's also purchased over $500,000 worth of our nodes, okay? So when you understand the big picture, see my business, when I've got the financial services business, it's failing stodgy, but also nobody wants to talk to you, okay? This business here, it's fun, it's exciting, it's energizing. You ask anybody if they ever do anything with crypto, they light up, man. They light up. Most of them light up like a pinball machine, right? So anyway, but, you know, so as I look at this thing, and I, I want to share with you a few highlights, okay? For some of you, you, the next five or 10 minutes, you're going to say, yeah, I get that. I know that, Steve. But I want to share with you why Connect, why I'm here and the big picture, okay? The, the, the big picture is we're building a community, uh, the largest blockchain community on planet Earth, and it's all blockchain with a purpose. It's not about pumping and dumping a coin. So I told you I started mining green back when, and it was... It all started around renewable energy. Um, and, and I'm going to be the first to admit to you, I didn't understand everything about it, okay? But one thing I did know, Wright Thurston had a vision about what it could be. 
his vision made sense to me, even though I didn't understand every piece of it. And then this guy came along who you heard a couple of days ago. And I, I love Jonathan Gibbs. I love his vision. One of the biggest things I love about him is he's won before. See, winners win. Winners win. Jonathan Gibbs is a winner. And the vision he's got for green, I know we're going to take that to the finish, the, the finish land, the finish line or the promised land, whatever you want to say. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, how does it work? This is kind of the first diagram I ever saw about green. And I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't understand every piece of that. But then, you know, when I ask people, I say, look, do you, are you the guy that opens the refrigerator door to see if the light goes off when you close it? I, I mean, uh, I flipped the switch over there on the wall. I don't understand everything about current, but I know the light comes on, right? And I, I knew this vision kind of made sense. And they told me about centralized versus decentralized. Again, I didn't understand every single detail, but I knew the picture on the right made a lot more sense than the picture on the left long term. And then I don't know about the first time you ever saw a fax machine work. I was blown away. How can I stick a piece of paper in on this side and it comes out a thousand miles away, just like I'm looking at right here? By the way, you, you do know who the greatest salesman, salesman in the world was, right? It was the guy that sold the first fax machine. Because, I mean, who are you going to send it to, right? Anyway, uh, but, you know, you put the paper in the fax, it converts to data. The data converts it back, and then it goes back to the fax machine, and you got paper on the side. Well, that concept right there, and I, I know Jonathan touched on this the other day, but, you know, it went from fax machines to cell phones, and then we, I know we all get that. We used to, those of us old enough to remember those, Phones that were mounted in the kitchen and had a curly cord and you had to stand there. And, and, and we all remember that, right? This idea right here was revolutionary. Well, if you let your mind's eye envision what the future might be, it just makes sense that this is very, very, very possible. And even if you don't understand it all, go back to that fax machine example, the cell phone example. And then this, it just makes sense. And, and so Green is going to be the first company to take electricity and invert it to digital electricity. And my, 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 the power of that is just, you know, Stefan, it, it, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing when you think about it. And, you know, we got, it, th this is being built for the last seven years. So some of you, I know you're sitting here right now and say, yeah, seven years, I understand that, but Steve, I got a problem. Look, we're going to fix the problems, Okay. We're going to get back to that in a second, but stick with me here, okay? Stick with me. Um, you know, what, the, what they've done is they built a model where the average guy and gal, the average person that's not a tech-savvy guru, can mine cryptocurrency. You can provide a node on, on, on the network, okay? And, and, and an analogy I like on that to convey what it is, because some people don't get that, right? Because I didn't get that stuff for a long time. But a way to understand that is imagine you're building a, a cell phone community and you got to have the cell towers. The nodes work kind of like the cell towers. Okay. That's kind of the way it works. And what they've done, when I first started mining green way back when, uh, what happened is, uh, Michael, it would, uh, um, you had to have a, a, a physical box. Okay. I mean, hardware. And then later it got outdated and you had to upgrade in the power cost was well, now it's, it's evolved to a point to where it's revolutionary compared to what it was. In fact, it looks, it's, it's like one of these things compared to what we had, those are the phones I described way back when, okay? And, and so they, they've got a design where your grandma could do it. And then because of the vision of our, our founder, he created this family, a, a, an ecosystem, if you will, where they had kind of all help each other. And a major piece of this puzzle is Switch. Switch, when I first heard this concept, I said, that's brilliant. I'd had cryptocurrency stuff and, and I couldn't spend it. I mean, it was a very, it was a difficult, difficult thing to send it here and do this and convert it over here. And, and when I heard this concept right here, I said, my gosh, I got to participate in that. I know that's going to work. And, um, uh, but, but what it was basically is you could convert uh, fiat currency, you can convert cryptocurrency to fiat. And, and so you could store it, you could send it, switch it, spend it. Think of it like this. You could go mine green, like 
just about 10 minutes before this call started, I went and, and I checked my, my green account. And you know what? I, I mined many, many tens of thousands of green over the last 24 hours. Well, we're not that far away from being, I mean, weeks, probably not months, from being able to send that straight to your switch card. Boom. You can store it there. You can send it. You can switch it. You can go spend it. I can take that green I mined yesterday and go down to the store and buy a new shirt, buy lunch, whatever. Guys, that's transformative compared to where this has been. And if you've ever had, if you've ever had cryptocurrency in days gone by, you know that's the case. And so we're a cutting edge company on the borderline of changing some incredible things. One of the things I love about this is Kathy Roberts over to the left here, a good friend of mine. She was the president of Discover Bank way back in the day when the Discover card was doing its thing. Okay. They were the only card, the only credit card on the planet that gave a reward for using the card. It was revolutionary. And, and so I love her being at the at the helm of the switch team. And they're going to use Visa. You got a platform of 55 million people day one. Every every country in the land will acknowledge and use you be able to use that card. Powerful, powerful thing. Then you've got blue. Blue, you've got access. You know, they, they, they feel like they've reimagined the healthcare system. Everybody knows it's messed up all over the world. But what they're going to do, they got board certified physicians, nurses, and everything like that to give you access 24 7, and then a lot of other things. But I'm just going to highlight a couple and then show you, show you, but drill down on a few of them here. Liberty. Um, I didn't know what Liberty was really all about, but one of the things I loved about it is they've got this phone, this the satellite phone. Again, worldwide, where it's totally secure, where you've got access to communicate with your family, friends, loved ones, business associates, and nobody can track it. You know what? In today's world, that's kind of a big dad gum deal, right? I mean, that's a big deal. People want security and privacy in today's world. And then Element. When I first heard this, I thought, man, that's, that is going to work. Yeah. Um, you know, Scott Lemieux is the president. He was the co-star of the Discovery Channel's Jungle Gold. I don't know if you guys, do you guys know what uh, the Discovery Channel is? Okay, so cool. So um, he, he was co-star there. And then Todd Hoffman, he's been the face of Gold Rush, uh, Discovery Channel's number one program for eight years. Well, he, he was sitting there and they were talking and they said, you know, it, it's kind of a travesty what happens when you go in there and mine these, mine gold. I said, what do you mean? I said, well, they go in there and they, they wipe out, they de they don't, they don't change an area. They decimate it. They completely wipe it out. And then most of these companies do not do not do any kind of reclamation. You know, they go in and they, they, they completely wipe out the water systems. And um, it, it's terrible for the community. So what they said we're going to do is we're going to go in there and capture the leases, the gold mine leases. And you can ascertain the value that's in the ground. Now, now think with me a second. Again, you got a, a little future vision. You can go on the ground and determine what's there ahead of time. So why do we have to go in there and wipe out the area? Why don't we go in there and with the values that we know are there, digitize it and let people participate in the value that's there without wiping the place out. And then we also could go in there and do great things for the community. We can put in the internet, get fresh water wells, and um, things of that nature. In other words, really become a, a resource for that community versus wiping it out. And man, if you think about that, that is huge. Right now, Element has got billions of dollars of gold mines. I don't know if it's officially locked up, but it's that close to being locked up right now to where they can go in there and do those exact kind of things. So again, and I, what I'm trying to do is share with you the vision. We're, we're talking about blockchain with a purpose, okay? And so they, what they did, they also blockchain simplified. They said, look, we're going to simplify this for you so your grandma can do it. There's courses within an academy, within the uh, Connect system to teach you all about crypto for those that don't know much about it. And there's a lot that don't know. Right now, about 5% of the world has adopted crypto, 5%. And, and so what happens then, it's very simple. You guys all know this already. You sign up for free. You agree to the code of conduct. You buy your, buy your software. And then you invite your friends to do it, to, to join the team. By the way, very important, you got to do it through Connect. If you want to get paid on it, 
You got to do it through Connect, okay? So don't go straight to the one of those companies and do it. You want to do it with and through Connect. That way you're always paid on it down the road. But as we all know right now, there's there's six that you can buy uh, nodes in as we speak. They go up a little bit every time somebody buys one. Usually it's about a dollar. and uh, But that piece isn't quite automated yet. So it happens in chunks. Every, every week or two, it goes up a little bit. And so I would highly encourage you to participate personally in the mining. Okay. The, the, you got a chance to make far more money on that side, even than on the, the building side. And we're going to build something that you can be very, very proud of uh, long-term. This is going to be one of those things you tell your grandkids about. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be one of these things that, yeah, let me tell you something. I was right place, right time. You know, God bless me. I just happened to be the right place, right time. I brought the right kind of energy and look what happened. Look at it to provide the opportunity for the people to get in right now at the good time. Because, you know, they are going up in price the nodes. You're mining less over time. Now is the time. So see you guys. Follow us on Telegram. Stay tuned for the new, uh, latest news and stay tuned for the next calls. Thank you for tonight. Have a nice evening. See you on the top.